Inflation that reached record levels this year put immense pressure on all levels of government to offset the impacts. Most provinces and territories are providing inflation assistance, cost of living payments that largely are in the hundreds of dollars per recipient. Among the more generous is Newfoundland and Labrador. Well, the cost of uh, food has risen dramat dramatically. So what we've been able to do now is provide an extra $500 that people can utilize, um, you know, either for their heating costs or for food costs. The checks are costing the province almost $200 million. It has the money because one inflation driver, the high price of oil, generates big bucks for the government. Across the rest of the country, that price tag is almost $7 billion. Policy analysts say cost of living relief checks fall far short of offsetting the impact of higher prices, although they could boost morale. Most people feel some sort of crunch between December, January, February, when everybody's kind of trying to do a bit more around the holidays and now people's money isn't going as far as it used to anyway. And so it could be that a, a, even a small piece of relief right now is very much appreciated. Especially with things like food prices forecast to keep increasing. But government intervention might be hitting its limit. Newfoundland and Labrador calls its inflation checks a one-time measure, hoping more mail-outs won't be required. We're not finished our budget by any stretch of the imagination at this point. So we'll, we're watching as to what's happening. Hopefully things will start to ease. With many Canadians looking for a break from inflation and the elected officials looking to help where they can, where this spending train comes to a stop will be a big question in the new year. Ross Lord, Global News, Halifax.